What do you make of the argument uh, <laughs> commonly employed by conservatives, originally employed by Bill Buckley and, and Whitaker Chambers during their feud with Ayn Rand, that without God, without a greater purpose to serve, objectivism, freedom essentially can only lead to a sort of corrosive libertinism or an, an unfeeling system of materialism which is not viable for a society? Well, I think they were, I mean, I, particularly Buckley and Whitaker Chambers, I think they were both dishonest um, and unthinking because I think that's absurd, right? I, I think it's the exact opposite. Um, once you have a higher purpose, which somebody else dictates, not you by definition, because it's a higher purpose, then that's authoritarianism. Whether it's a higher purpose of God and God is the authority, or whether the higher purpose is the state and the state is the authority, or the higher purpose is, is the race and the Fuhrer is the authority, or the higher purpose is a class and the, the proletarian is the authority, a higher purpose always leads to authority and because that's the, the whole point of a higher purpose. And indeed, every authoritarian in history has not, no, no, not a single authoritarian in history has said, follow your own values, use your own mind to judge what is true and what is not. And, and, and morality is the achievement of your personal happiness. Exact opposite. Every dictator in human history has said, he has a higher purpose and you must adhere to this higher purpose and here's how you do it. And if you don't, I will force you to. So, and that goes back to the Catholic church. It goes back to every religion in history. It goes back to, 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 to the Jewish religion in the old Testament. Just try not to be not, you know, to, to worship a golden calf and see what happens to you. Usually you get slaughtered, right? That's a higher purpose, right? The higher purpose of, of believing in one God versus believing in multiple gods. So, a higher purpose always leads to coercion, always leads to force, always leads to authoritarianism. And certainly Buckley and Whitaker Chambers were educated enough to know that, right? So, uh, so there's, a, there's a certain element of dishonesty. The other aspect of it is that, that Ayn Rand was not a materialist and not in the sense that they mean it. Not, and again, they knew this because Whitaker Chambers, of course, comes from, came from a, a true materialist background, right? He was a Marxist. Uh, so he knew what materialism was, and Ayn Rand was not a materialist. Ayn Rand, you know, recognized the, the fact that there was something called uh, the human consciousness, the human spirit. In that sense, that doesn't mean there's something beyond you. It just means that you embody a certain thing that is your consciousness. It is your spirit, and, and which is important. Uh, she talks a lot about happiness. She talks about the importance of art. She talks about the importance of of the experience of art, the, the emotional experience of art. She talks about love. She talks about what love is and how it, how it plays. And so, so this idea that, that Ayn Rand was just some kind of cold materialist, uh, you know, equivalent to Marx that just waves a hand to some utopia is just wrong. And of course, Whitaker Chambers' um, review of Atlas Shrugged was the most dishonest, the most offensive, the most negative review of anybody's review. So the conservatives, and, and I think guided by Bill Buckley, clearly determined to um, kick Ayn Rand out of the conservative movement to the extent that there was one. They, they clearly wanted her influence uh, out. They, they, wanted, they wanted it to be a movement that was guided by religion. And uh, she was an obstacle to that. She had a lot of influence, people reading Atlas Shrugged. And they purposefully, in my view, um, wrote an article, wrote a, wrote a review of the book to try to say, you wanna, if, if you like Alice Shrugged, you're not part of our movement uh, and, and you, you're not part of this club. What's ironic about the whole thing is when Ayn Rand died, Buckley wrote this, uh, this, uh, wrote this article basically saying, with her dies the philosophy, she is nothing, she is gone, uh, she will be not remembered. And I am willing to put my entire wealth on the table to argue that Ayn Rand will be remembered long after Buckley is. Uh, her influence will be profoundly greater than William F. Buckley's influence. I mean, barely anybody young remembers William F. Buckley even today. Uh, um, uh, you know, his, his books are nowhere near as well read as Ayn Rand's books. Atlas Shrugged sells many, many more copies than all of Buckley's cop books combined. Um, uh, and, uh, and, and, you know, she is a, she's a, an artist. Her books are, are stand on their own in terms of art, but also she is a profound philosopher. Agree or disagree with her, her ideas will be debated well into the future, whereas 
uh, Buckley was was uh, was not an original thinker. I mean, that's uh, he was a conservative. <laughs> so he was he wanted to conserve what existed. He wasn't he wasn't about new. He wasn't about difference. And he was a he was a pretentious, pompous, you know, <laughs> uh, commentator who who I think inhibited the ability of the conservative movement actually to develop and to manifest itself into something interesting and valuable, which I think it could have. There was a there was an opportunity there. We could have been influenced by people like uh, like von Mises and others on economics, could have taken a much more uh, stringent free market perspective. It could have really uh, embraced the kind of Goldwater thinking, which was far better, I think, than, than many of them. Um, but it didn't. It, 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 it uh, evolved into what is today in America called uh, nationalist conservatives. It evolved into the religious rights in America. It has evolved into statism. Uh, and, and, you know, I think the conservative movement in the U.S. is now broken completely. If you look at conservatism, uh, the, the infighting going on right now within the conservatives, and it was inevitable. I mean, this fusion that Buckley tried to create was never really possible, right? Was never really sustainable. And now you're getting the libertarian conservatives versus the religious conservatives versus the nationalist conservatives, all kind of fighting among each other, um, We'll see who benefits from that. I, I think the nationalists are going to win this out, unfortunately. Unfortunately, indeed. <laughs> what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like. Share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.